In this study, they used hemoglobin A1c as a proxy marker for insulin resistance or hyperinsulinemia. But they found that people who took the drug metformin had a drastic reduction in their pain scores, very often going from a 6 to 8 out of 10 on the 10-point pain scale down to a 0 or a 0.5 or a 1 out of 10 on that same pain scale. He also noticed in the research that there was a direct correlation between elevated hemoglobin A1c and the severity of the symptoms of the people in the study with fibromyalgia. What should I do if, if I or a loved one suffers from fibromyalgia? Here's what I think you should do. First and foremost, you need to go see your doctor and demand, respectfully demand, that they check a hemoglobin A1C, a C-peptide, and a fasting insulin on you immediately. This is going to tell you your degree of hyperinsulinemia or insulin resistance. And it's also going to uncover whether you have pre-diabetes, which I consider to be early diabetes or type 2 diabetes that could very well have been undiagnosed if your doctor hasn't been checking these tests in the past. Number two, the drug that, that uh, Professor Papola used in this study was glucophage. Uh, immediately ask your doctor if you can have a prescription. And the research used glucophage 500 milligrams twice a day. And, and I don't think that's the long-term solution for you. I'm going to tell you what I think that is in a second. But for now, getting you on glucophage could lead to a drastic reduction in your fibromyalgia symptoms. Long-term, you need to understand what is the diet? What kind of diet causes me to have high levels of blood sugar and high levels of insulin that are chronically too high? And that is a high carbohydrate diet, a diet filled with sugars, and filled with processed grains. That's the kind of diet that's gonna cause you to be insulin resistant or have hyperinsulinemia. So I would, I would implore you to immediately research and adopt some version of a low carbohydrate diet, trying to keep your total carbohydrate intake under 50 total grams a day. This could be a low carb diet, a banting diet, a ketogenic diet, a carnivore diet, any of these types of diets are going to drastically reduce your chronically elevated insulin levels, reduce your blood sugar levels back to normal, and begin to reverse your insulin resistance, which according to this research appears to be the root cause of fibromyalgia. There's also quite a bit of research showing that most people with fibromyalgia are quite depleted in magnesium and that indeed their symptoms improve when they start getting more magnesium in their diet. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.